Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fine edition of the Ben and Deers podcast. As always, the guillotine, Rambo, the Tower of Power. Gentlemen, the fuck are we? Ah, oh, man, it feels feels like it's been a little extra long yeah. since the last time. This I is a here. Monday edition. A Monday edition, special edition. Special, we had a, special indeed. We had a... It, oh. Don't give it all away yet. We have a little something special to unveil for our visual Mm -hmm. listeners, the ones tuning in on YouTube. You get a a little surprise. Yes. From John JP motherfucking Rambo. Drum roll, baby. Look at that yeah, thing, dude. That is John's archery buck from 2019. 2019. If you are watching this on or listening to this on Spotify, it is a majestic woodland creature known as a white tail buck. It is a nine pointer. Nine, nine pointer. I had to double check myself. Almost a ten, but you know. almost a ten. He ain't getting no bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really good job. Who yeah. did that taxidermy? That is Upper Bay Taxidermy in Northeast Maryland, right off Red Toad Road. Mike Travers. If you need anything mounted, go to Mike Travers. You're going to wait, Upper but Bay. let me tell you. Hey, yeah. You know, you want it done right or you... Or you, you want it done twice. Or you want it done fast or you want it done right. Yeah. You can't have both. It's like a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the, the attention to detail on this thing is, oh just God. blows me away. There's like little bits of spittle on the hair, like <laughs> on know, his chin yeah, and shit. It's know, amazing. You know what we're going to have to do? Get clo- do some close-up pictures wow. of this and get them on Instagram and shit. You didn't notice that? I did not notice Look that. Yeah. That. Dude, that is, I mean, the attention to detail is just spectacular. That is fucking insane. He did. Uh, yeah, you got to yeah. post uh, some close-ups on Instagram yeah. Yeah, and Facebook. Definitely. We'll post them. We'll put them on, on all forms of social media. So if you're not watching, and even if you are, you can't see it as well. Yeah. Uh, but... We'll jump, on, jump on the Instagram and Facebook. Check it out. But yeah, it's uh, it's flawless. art. It's flawless. art. Man. Why don't yeah, it's you, unbelievable. Why don't, why don't we relive? And we don't want to relive it. Let's relive it. Walk us. T- tell us about this buck and how this evening occurred. It was a morning. Oh, it was a morning. I hate that. mornings, and <laughs> for some reason, something told me to go this morning. It was November 9th. That dog's making. Kick that dog in the face. <laughs> <laughs> One of John's dogs is tearing apart his recliner. <laughs> no big deal. It was November 9, 2019. Unseasonably cold that morning. It was 18 degrees. Shoo! And um, I got there early because I expected to sit all day long. I brought a lunch. I was decked the fuck out, ready to go. Had a north wind. What is, I'll kill you. And um, six o'clock, around six o'clock, the sun was coming up, and I look in front of me, and there's a buck coming at me, and I'm I'm getting ready for him to come, and this guy comes from my left, but coming straight at me to a scrape I sat over top of, and he gets to the scrape, sniffs it because I poured a little dope pee on it mm-hmm. right before I got up in the stand. And he sniffs it, and he kind of looks over at the other buck, who was actually bigger than him. But um, I had a clear shot on this guy, so I'm not going to pass him up. <laughs> and uh, he looks at the other buck, turns toward him, perfect broadside, 20-yard shot, smacked him. He ran, he probably ran about 60 yards, and piled up, and it took it took Upper Bay Taxidermy 499 days from the time we met until here he is now. And here you are reunited. That is that is I mean a long ass time, but <laughs> they did a really good job. I mean, you can't speak highly enough of their work. They're truly an artist, that guy. Yeah, the I mean, eyes. I mean, all the detail yeah. look look fantastic. Uh, so uh, for me, I'm just trying to put myself in your shoes here. That other buck, when he came up, were you tempted at all to try and wait for him to? If he was, <coughs> was how much bigger was he? Just maybe a little. He was, he was wider. Yeah. He was like, he was wider and shorter time, but he was bigger, and I wasn't gonna wait for him because the wind was blowing right at him. Mm-hmm. So he was kind of nervous, standing behind trees, so I couldn't get a shot at him anyway. And I think he looked over at him 
I was like, what's wrong, buddy? And then an arrow flew through him. Yeah. Wow. That is that is. Or pretty. if the wind wasn't blowing right at him, I might have waited yeah. just to see, you know, what kind of no, you wouldn't quality. Have. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, you never know. You get a bigger yeah. buck and a... Uh, yeah, yeah, you might wait. Yeah. But I wouldn't have waited. Especially <laughs> if... If he looked like he was getting a little skittish and that mm-hmm. other one was perfectly broadside, yeah, I'd have done the same thing. Yeah, he, he smelled the scrape, turned broadside, looked at the other buck, and it was just that quick. Yeah. So he didn't even have a chance. Didn't go <clears throat> 60. Yeah. And the other buck, after I shot him and he took off running, he didn't run away. He just kind of looked around and just kind of walked off the way he came. Uh. And I was thinking, man, if he gives me a shine, I wonder if Seth can tag this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no. He didn't give it to you? No. Yeah. Now, you can, ta- you can shoot two bucks with archery. Well, this was my Think about bonus oh, buck already. Bonus oh, buck your bonus, already. bonus okay. stamp. Okay. I, went, I went the night before and bought my bonus stamp because yeah, yeah. a higher power was just telling me something. Yeah. And... Uh, Damn sure if it wasn't right. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Isn't, it, isn't it funny how sometimes it works out like that? You can just feel it, man. You yeah. Know? Every once in a while, I'll, I'll write something like that means something to me on a fletching of an arrow, mm-hmm. and I wrote my grandfather's name, which is just crazy. Oh, that's and, cool, man. I didn't know you did that. Yeah. Every I every think once you might have told me that before, but right. I, I, my memory's terrible. Every once in a while, I'll just write something, something that cool means something on there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe I'll start doing that. Yeah. yeah. Rubies. <laughs> Hinge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's. Uh, <coughs> I, I like that. I like that. I might steal that. Yeah, like it gives, gives, the, gives the hunt a little more meat. I mean, yeah. there's already a ton of meat. Yeah, especially to it. if you put that arrow through something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely extra special when you <coughs> when it all comes together like that. You think yeah. it makes you care a little more too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, why do you think I went to Upper Bay Taxidermy instead of yeah. the other? Yeah, yeah you wanted pretty, that uh, thing. You wanted that thing done well. Yeah. And they did, man. Right? Fuck, that's an awesome, awesome looking buck. Yeah, I went there and he had a. Uh, freaking brown bear standing like 11 feet tall right there as you walk in. I was like, okay. This guy's doing his shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I looked that up just recently because I know you're not much for, for bear. Ronski, I think you I said am. you'd be into oh, it. Oh, fucking A. Maybe me and you'll do it one year, but you cannot hunt bear in spring anywhere on really? this side of the country. Nowhere. Can't if you want to do that, you got to go, oh, well, this side of the country. You, if you want to do that, you got to go over to fucking Oregon, like uh, fucking... I think Colorado does it, Montana, like no eastern states. Nothing on this side of the Mississippi allows a spring bear hunt. Why is that? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Something to look into. Blew my mind. But I also been looking a lot into this PA elk. Dude, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, we need to Pennsylvania elk, we need to be entering tags every year. They're huge. Yeah, they're not only are they fucking <laughs> huge, but the success rate on these hunts is like eighty and ninety percent. Yeah, because they only ha- hand out like six tags per yes. per region. Yes, but if we all put tags in every year, you get it doubles yeah. your entries. So like this year, if you enter to all three, it's like one in a thousand of getting a draw of so getting a tag. That's pretty cool. Next year, state, it's like yeah. one in 500. The following year, it's one in 250. So the, you're guaranteed sooner or later. Right. So yeah. the state, the state trying to, yeah. that's pretty cool. It's state. $11.90. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Stupid not to. We need to keep doing it. And like, I, I've i only did it once, but like, we need to continue to do it. Do if it we online. all do it. Yeah, you do it online. Yeah, if we all do it. And you don't need to buy anything other than that. Now, if you get a tag, then you have to buy a license, yeah. which is like 150 bucks. But, uh, and I think even, you might have to buy it pay for the actual tag as well i think you just pay for the lottery but then you have to pay for the tag and the license See, it's pretty pricey yeah it's gonna well, cost I mean, you but dude shorter drive it's yeah. a way shorter drive the success rate is through the fucking roof because yeah. there's a bunch of them and they are just i mean monster elk out there well, they're, they're rocky mountain elk that were that were transferred yeah yeah, yep. yeah. my boss at work my, well, my old supervisor joe sebelevsky he's a photographer he was up there taking pictures last year a year before Took pictures of some huge fucking bulls up there. Yeah. He said he was sitting in like the brush a little bit off the field edge mm-hmm. and he stepped on a twig and, and the twig snapped and the bull elk looked over at him and started going after him thinking he was another bull in the woods. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So it's not like a deer where you step on a twig and they're gone. They're gone. They're like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. yeah. The bull was like, okay. But you could put a, you could put an arrow right there here on him. Dude, that'd be yeah. pretty intense, man. No, he wasn't hunting. He was just taking pictures. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, like, it, you have that advantage of yeah. hunting them yeah. that they're they're not nearly as spooky as a whitetail. You don't want to be as graceful. Yeah, which is a blessing for us because <laughs> it's not our strong suit. But, shit, I, I would do, I'm just saying, 
uh, I'll let you guys know when the lottery opens mm-hmm. and we can all put our entries in. Yeah, we'll if we do it every year, dude, it's only a matter of time before one of us gets a tag and then all three of us can go. We'll make a camping trip out of it. It'll be real gay. Uh, <laughs> the three of us can pack into one one two man tent and yeah, one can, sleeping bag. Yeah, we'll pack that elk out. It'll we'll be a balloon, great time. We'll pack bologna sandwiches and get real gay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I want I want I want elk bad. Just watching them videos and stuff on YouTube is like, ugh. Yeah, so it's definitely on the bucket list. It's it's on there. It's I'm just, on there. I just I'm not tired of the majestic white tail. I am by no means <clears throat> tired of these beautiful creatures. And don't don't get me wrong. I just would like to broaden my horizons and try some other things. You know, I'm I'm a guy. I like I like variety in my life. <laughs> Damn if you don't. <laughs> Damn if you don't. Actually, I don't remember him being this fucking big, to be honest with you. He's a beautiful buck. Yeah. Pretty. Hell yeah, man. Well, Seth's not going to have any money to get any bucks eat. I mean, shit, if he kills a buck, he won't have any money to get him mounted because he's fucking taking all these girls on fucking dates. Uh, I'll tell you, a cheaper guy to get him mounted, but they'll look like that guy over there. Yeah. How, wanna, much, how, much, was, how much was the bill on that girl you took to Coast? All right, Runsky. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how, how much was the bill? Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah I want to know. Okay, how much was the bill on that, on uh, that one? Ah, uh, it wasn't that much, man. It was, uh, it was reasonable. <laughs> $100. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably something like that, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like you got to play the odds here. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna you spend know? the whole paycheck. Yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do. Take one girl on a date. What are the odds that it's gonna be a nice girl and you want to, you know, take right. her home to mama? Because that's my objective here. You know, I want to find oh, a nice absolutely. girl. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to, you know, date a, uh, several of them. So you well, what's your batting know? average? You know? Oh my gosh, Can better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, my, everybody yeah. sent me down to AAA. What's your success rate? My, uh, <laughs> oh I'll opt you to AAA. Mom, tune out. Do not listen <laughs> to this podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. Doing good. Doing good. Doing real good. Doing real good. Well, anyway, let's, work, let's, let's, let's segue on to another topic here. I got a uh, couple interesting things I took note of. And, I mean, all kinds of crazy shit in the news going on around here. Uh, what was it? Oh, this I thought this was pretty interesting, and there was. A, a, I'm gonna start with this one. This was cool. So the Deer Association did a study on uh, like deers getting hit by cars and stuff. And what they found was if you if they have a light bar, so when the deer just see the headlights on a vehicle, they it, like like freaks them out and they don't understand it. But if they flip that light bar and then they can see the grill and like the actual outline of the vehicle they'll jump out of the way and move really yeah it increases it decreases your odds of hitting a deer significantly i can't remember what percentage it was i have to like briefly just look over this article oh, i'm still not getting one of those douchey things no, no. <laughs> yeah it was like 40 percent more of them moved out of the way with that light bar on there i might put one of my little six inch on my bike yeah i don't want to have a bike. Oof, man bike. you don't want to do that i thought that was pretty Pretty interesting study. I wonder how they went about testing that. Just smoke a whole yeah. bunch of deer. <laughs> 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 All right, dog. <laughs> Try this one out. Bring another one out. Here. <laughs> We're gonna scream down I eighty six <laughs> with a light bar flipped upside down, dude. Buckle up. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. interesting. I, I, I read. Basically, that's what they did. But of course, they're stopping before they. Well, hit them. it's yeah. the oldest saying known to man: deer in the headlights. Yeah, I mean it's. it's pretty, and they do freeze the fuck up. They do. They do. If I could put some I headlights on anything. my broadheads and <laughs> night, I'd be in business. Yeah, I mean they just freeze because they can't yeah. fucking see anything. They're blind. Yeah, their eyes absorb light so well yeah. that when they get that light in their face, I mean they just you know they. they yeah, I just I would be very curious to see where the research came from that one. Yeah, I, I just love to see that study get taken care yeah, of that's, uh, like that'd be very interesting yeah, yeah. but uh <laughs> another thing i wanted to bring up and i i took a little note of this because it's something that i've been participating in and i think it's it's a good idea i even actually submitted a a request to write an article oh you should for uh yeah, i think you should too. uh maryland department of natural resources for their uh for their thingy they're taking like uh basically you tell them a topic you'd like to write about, and then it'll go in like their spring, summer issue, or whatever, blah, blah. And my topic that I, I requested to write an article on was doing various outdoor activities during the spring and the summer that can actually benefit you in the fall. And oh. my approach to this is, like lately I've been riding a mountain bike, and I'm going to a lot of the places that we, we hunt public land, like mm-hmm. Rogues Harbor, uh, Fair Hill, 
Elk Neck, all these places that we hunt, and I'm doing some scouting while I'm out there. I even found, actually, check this out. And I, oh, I snapped you guys, so you've seen it. I'm riding along Elk Neck, and like I said, I'm almost there more to scout than I am to get exercise. <laughs> but it's a good way to it's a good way to get both done. You know what I mean? I'm killing two birds with one stone, and I'm riding along, and I just noticed a, a real heavily traveled game trail. So, and this is pretty far back in the woods. The only way that so let me continue the story. So it's pretty far back in the woods. So I hop off, and I'm like, I'm gonna follow this game trail a little bit. Well, I follow this game trail back a little bit, and what I find? I find a, a chair and a feeder back there. So the reason there's this massive game trail is because somebody's got a feeder on public land, and yeah. these they're bagging corn in the, there. The deer's driving down this game trail. As a piece of shit. Yeah. So there's houses. The only way they could either you're walking a mile and a half with corn, or he lives, he lives in one there. of these houses that back up to it that is, I don't know, Maybe 200 yards that's off. Exactly yeah. That's exactly. And they're bringing I'm corn and they're baiting on public land, which is an asshole thing to DNR. do. Fuck that. Yeah, I thought about texting DNR Dave. I mean, it's out of season, but maybe I'll, I'll let him give him a heads oh, up. They'll tear it all down. Yeah. yeah. They should at least tear it down and get it out of yeah. there. Yeah. He'll get the message that they're watching it at that point, yeah. so he won't go to that spot anymore. Exactly. Because I was thinking, like, hey man, You're I could right. during the during the fall, I could ride. I'm thinking about these various setups, like how I can basically pack it because they have these little trailers that I can tow with a mountain bike and I can use a non-motorized vehicle to get on public land. It's quiet. I could bring my stand in and my bow Mm -hmm. on the mountain bike and set up back there and you can get two miles in fucking ten minutes with a mountain bike. So, to touch... Another aspect. Go ahead. ahead. No, go, go, go. Finish, 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 finish. finish. (laughs) Another aspect that I also do and I've been doing both of these. This is my second year of doing this. Um, But this year more so with the biking just because I got a new bike and I just I want to scout more. But I started doing this last year and I, I, I never did mention it or maybe I did, I don't remember. But kayaking is another one and that's a good one for like waterfowl and stuff and just deer too. I'm more doing it for deer, but you can get some pretty sweet access points from the water, especially around here with the Chesapeake Bay and all the rivers around us. So I've been launching my kayak and I'll go check these various access points that I can get to with a kayak. I thought it was really cool. It's a good way to get you outside, get you enjoying the beautiful Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware, wherever you live. Yeah, if you live anywhere else, it kind of sucks, but <laughs> no, nah, it's great places. But burning all them calories, and you're you know. and you're scouting for deer. It's 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 a win win in my eyes. I like it. So what else we got? We got mountain biking. We got kayaking. Any other ones? Well, I mean, obviously the obvious hiking. You could just go for a walk. Hiking and shed hunting, which I did last week. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there was, I'm telling you, you can get in there, you can fucking see, you check bedding areas, all that shit. I'm telling I've you. never it's, found a shed. Me either. Well, I found a dead doe. I found that buck, that's about it. I found a dead doe. What if it was a buck? You never know. I've, I've found sheds from that big boy. Mm. That's the only sheds yeah. I've, well, no. And I found a, a little, like, half a four-pointer once, but. but like, it's a touch, touch base on what you're talking about, but it's, you go out shed hunting, but there's like, that's just. It's a win-win. Th- it's, yeah. it's a win-win. Because if you're you out don't, there, right, if you're you don't still get fucking, a shed, yeah. You're still scouting. You're still scouting property. You're still seeing stuff. You're still, yeah. yeah it, it's it's all around a good thing. And this time of year is the best time, really, before it gets real thick. Yeah. And, and ticks. Uh, and ticks. Stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got to get moving on that food plot. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might stay right after work on Friday, since I got the weekend off, take a rake and just try to rake all that shit off as much yeah. as I can. Yeah. For a couple of hours. Yep. You gonna get a little tiller or something, or just go out and just dump it? I think I'm just going to spread it out. You ought to go to Home Depot and see if you can round up some uh, employees out there. There's usually some guys <laughs> out there that are willing to work for cheap. I'll well, help you well, if I'm, I'm allowed, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. Yeah, I mean, we can just get it. We can just rent. You can we can rent a hand tiller well, from Home Depot for like fucking Clover, thirty bucks. Clover only has to be under the ground an eighth of an inch, so you're not even supposed to till it in. You can. I, just, I think I'm just going to spread it and maybe walk over it and leave it. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, but. And I got to get all that grass shit off first. My dad told me to mow it all the way down and then rake it off. Me too. If you need help, I'll help you. Two rakes. We can fucking knock that shit out. Yeah. That's pretty big. Yeah, I'll give you a hand if it's on on Friday. but but I mean, use your resources. Yeah. Yeah. That's what what we're We're all here to help each other kill deer. So if you need help. I think it'd be so fucking sick shooting a deer over over a food food plot. plot. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You got to get with uh, Kevin Dvorak and pick his brain a little bit. Yeah, he turned his whole fucking back. He doesn't even live there anymore. Nah, that's what Grant was saying. He moved. Idiot. <laughs> well, I think he got he's he's got another sweet deal where yeah. he's at. He lives right across. He lives on Belvedere Road now. Damn, I'm putting his business. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a big road. <laughs> it's a big road. But he's got really good access to to the his hunting property now. So 
Yeah. He's real happy with it. And that was another thing. Did I tell you that um, I may possibly have access for deer hunting as well back into back into Whoa. our old workplace? Whoa, Winch Road? No, 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 not Winch Road. That would be oh, no. Uh, Grant yeah. let me hunt over at the Perryville plant. He said, "Look, I'm gonna try to get you in there and hunt deer this this fall too." And I was like. Phew. It's like, dude, what, are, what do I got to do, man? Pull your pants down. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so a couple podcasts, we've been talking about banging doors down this, that. We're grinding. So I've been yeah. talking to God, well, maybe not you, but I'm, I've been, I am dude. too. What do you think I'm going on all these dates for, dude? Yeah, so you've been, true, you've been going on dates. <laughs> he won't go on a date until he checks their onyx. One of my he checks thing, his onyx, I'm, checks I'm, their I'm, property I'm, lines. I need your headdress and look at you up on onyx real quick. Like, I'm not wasting my time. You only got two acres. That is true. Every time you go to this new chick's but, house, you're like, there's some woods by now. <laughs> dude, I've been, I've been fucking at work. Where I work, I work in Middletown, Delaware, and there's a lot of guys, a lot of property down there. I've been just flapping my mouth to everybody and everybody. Yeah. Anybody and everybody. That's how you got to do it, man. Yeah. yeah. And we scored. We got fucking 13 acres. Absolutely. Hell yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll knock them down. We'll get we'll get some more properties. Even if it is small stuff like that, man, it, it beats a blank. Yeah. yeah. Especially. Acres, I mean, fact. It's yeah. plenty. Yeah. You can, you can do a lot with it, especially if it's surrounded by other properties. Well, You're going to get a lot of passerbys during the rut and, and stuff. There's, there's a possible 19 acres, which I is almost guaranteed. I know we can score that borders right next to it. So. Yeah. That's so. getting, it's starting to get real nice. Yeah. And it's not hunted. Nope. So. We're grinding. I think I'm either sometime within the next few weeks, I got to go get my stands out of uh, my Oakland spot. Mm. Got to go get them. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, did I say on the pod where we will most likely have port deposit out this year? Yes, so. yeah, yeah. I'm so yeah. That's a good thing. That's a blessing. Yeah, it wasn't looking too good there for a while, right? Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't. But but they leased it out to the farmer again. So that's the thing when you're you know you're making money, blue collar guy, yeah. and I don't have a thousand acres yeah. to dispose this is kind of the game you're going to lose properties it happens and a lot of people nowadays it's not like it was you go bang bang on the farmer's door hey can i hunt i seen some deer in your hay field yeah back in the day they'd let you hunt now yeah. they want fucking money yeah, they want well, to yeah. Lease it to everybody you. wants money everyone yeah. wants to lease or either, it's already hunted either that or they're fucking anti-hunters you know yeah. what i mean which is why i think like a lot of like these places in the like g- real gentrified areas like hokessen it's all these like fucking rich, rich people, rich white people. And there's a, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And they don't hunt. They don't hunt. And I've seen a million deer up there. So early hours of the morning. I'm, that's next year. If I got to get a Delaware license, PA license, whatever. I will definitely. Do, ha- well, we're gonna have, gonna have to have a Delaware. Do license. what it takes. We have to. Yeah. So Delaware license is a, it's it's yeah. 120 bucks. 120 bucks. Yikes. Yeah. I'm gonna, but you, you got to get it. It's going to take me two weeks to make that. <laughs> you guys get paid with money at work? <laughs> the they are, just let me hunt. Uh, the apples dates, and oranges. The dates you keep coming on. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, Delaware, so we're all going to be Delaware hunting license holders this year. Yeah, and PA wouldn't be a surprise either. I mean, if, if something had opened up up there, which is, I mean, I, I started out there, so. I hope one of us can smack a big old buck this year. We've been dry since, yeah. since, it, since that guy. Since him, yep. So we'll, we'll we'll make it happen. We will make it happen. Runsky, you said you had a shooter pass. I'm looking at these. Well, yeah, we can do we can do a shooter pass on. You want to do a shooter pass on that? We'll talk. All right. So, mm-hmm. coyote hunting contest shooter pass. Uh, shooting that. Hell yeah. If we can find. I'm oh, shooting wait. that as well. Now the reason I made this a shooter pass is because I've, I've been doing a lot of reading online, and this is like. These animal activists are fucking hounding Wisconsin and Nevada, primarily. Mm-hmm. Now, I did a lot of reading, and typically a lot of bars, taverns, VFWs, and stuff, the whole coyote, I mean, hunting contest. Mm-hmm. Whoever can go the most coyote wins the contest, whatever. But, um, yeah, these activists are filing lawsuits. They're, uh, they're hounding the fucking um, state park fucking regulations, all that shit, man, over these fucking coyote hunting contests. I figured yeah. it would all be shoot. So yeah, well, that's a <laughs> that made, yeah. I mean, they do it with other. They do it with squirrels, coyotes, yep. pretty much yep. everything. But yeah. so they even do, they'll do them with deer, different places. Yeah, too. but Nevada apparently Nevada's under a whole bunch of scrutiny right now. Really, they got a lot of visibility. Yeah, yeah. People don't. People get butt hurt when it comes yeah. to predators for some reason. I don't understand that. Well, you should see how like I read a lot of like the uh, I've read both sides. I read the guys that are pulling for it and the right. animal mm-hmm. activist side. And when they when they use their when they when they're typing their articles up, these animal activists they're using. Coyote just looking for a rabbit. Coyote just trying to kill a squirrel. Oh, cool. oh, you man. should see these articles. Everyone, jump on, check yeah. these articles out. It'll, it, it's, it's crazy that 
how they try to skew the perspective on of course, on, yeah. on these on these guys, man. I'm telling you, they're just, just an innocent coyote just strolling through. You know what I mean? Oh, just yeah. looking for a rabbit. Yeah, yeah. So looking or for they a give rabbit. Them human like, emotions. It's exactly yeah. anthropomorphizing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's not like it's Wiley Coyote. He's right. just running around. Yeah, looking for a road runner. I figured they'd all be shoots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. Hard shoots. Hell, yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. I hate that guy. It's just good. They're disgusting There's people. this guy. Uh, I think it's Jake Dollar. Do you follow him on Instagram? Yeah. Dude, this guy is a coyote killing machine. He bought a, a thermal. <laughs> he bought a thermal setup. Oh, yeah. Dude. Mm. He got it on his AR. Yeah, that's, I'd love to have one. They are pretty see. Yeah, a thousand dollars for a scope. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah, you can easily spend a thousand bucks on one. They have two versions. They have like the all-out thermal, and then they have like the military grade that like pull in any like moonlight yeah. into like and just kind of give you better, better scope. Right, which are cheaper, but mm. yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'll not there. The spotlight. I'm not there. Yet. <laughs> I'm not there. If yet. anybody wants to sponsor us for that, I mean, you yeah. can get me one of them scopes. Throw us something our way. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're, they are sick. I've been rifling through YouTube on my lazy days, and you wouldn't believe the the types of pages that have a quarter million followers or subscribers. Oh, dude! And we only have like sixty fucking two. Yeah. Well, the kids. They're, there's stuff that my kids follow that's like just random millions of followers yeah and it's like people playing with toys and shit it's like what <laughs> yeah. the hell you're not watching that no yeah. absolutely not I stumbled across this page yesterday this guy was just sharpening axes on his fucking page he has a quarter million subscribers yeah that's insane yeah. Well, good for him good for him I think we're the coolest Very. motherfuckers I know uh, you only have 62 well you know it's a lot of it's, it's, there's a lot to that it's but. almost like uh I don't want to say political. Maybe political is the wrong word. I don't ah, know. It's advertising, yeah. you know. It's uh, networking and all, all that good stuff, you know. Takes time. Yeah. Yeah. Our Takes problem time. is, is we're just too cool. We're very, we're, we're very. Um, it's niche too, you know. It's yeah. niche. It's niche, but we're very. We're like eighty-year-old men <laughs> in, yeah. in fucking thirty-year-olds' bodies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we don't. I feel that a lot of people they get out more. Their 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 social network is fucking. If we yeah. don't like you, we yeah. don't talk to you. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's just yeah. And then uh, this is all very new to us. Like yeah. the whole it'll catch social fire. media stuff and it'll, all that stuff. Yeah, we're we're figuring this out as we go. It'll quite, catch fire. quite literally. Yeah. yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. There was a, another cool article <clears throat> that I read, and it was about. So like I've always been under the impression that. You want to shoot the oldest doe in the herd. You know what I mean? Like not the not quite the oh, oldest, yeah. but like an older doe in the herd. Um, the, the oldest is like you want to leave her because it messes up with like the hierarchy of the herd. Mm -hmm. Which there might still be something to that, but they were doing they did this study this study, which I believe this was also it was either Louisiana or Mississippi Deer Lab, and um, what it was it was shooting young does and how it helps your herd. Mm -hmm. So does have reached their peak body size by four years of age which means they're able to focus more nutritional resources on the growth of their fawns rather than mm. their own body. So does older than four at the time they gave birth to be mature. These does are also experienced mothers and would therefore be better capable of caring for the offspring. Mm -hmm. What we found supported these ideas with fawns of mature does experiencing lower rates of mortality when compared to immature does. I thought yeah. that was pretty interesting. That's a, that's a little insert from the article. But basically what it's saying is, is the older does can better take care of the fawn, which then increases the likelihood of fawn survival rate in the herd. So it's a good thing to kind of let them older, any of the older does keep walking and shoot them, shoot them young hoes. Yeah, Ted Nugent actually said that on his, uh, on his TV show, and I thought he was a fucking maniac. I was like, what? Don't yeah. shoot the old ones. But no, it's yeah, it, 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 when it's all it makes sense. There's sense to be made of yeah. it. Yeah, it, it, it adds up. And it, when they explain it like that, it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah, they can care for their young better. And not only that, but the older does have a, a much higher likelihood of having two, three, even four yeah. fawns at once, which is super rare. But it, they almost always have two. As yeah. to a real young doe, she's only going to pump out one fawn anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? It makes sense to me. Yep. They've been around the block, the older ones. I love and, shooting them young ones. Yeah, and they are delicious. Nice and nice and tasty. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the veal of the woods. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for fucking deer season. It's it's, it's well, not, not even April yet. I know. <laughs> I know. It, it's it's it sucks, especially getting a new bow. It's like holy shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to shoot anything with this bow. Shit, he's still waiting on his. Yeah. yeah. A I'm, lot of people are. I'm hoping I once I peg a coyote with uh, AR. 
and I peg a turkey with the shotgun. Then I'm gonna switch to old bow. So you're going coyote hunting after this, right? After this, I, after this podcast, I am. That's why I'm like, taking it easy on the brewskis. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I've only had 17. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after this, I'm gonna shoot out straight. And this is a new spot that we got through a buddy of mine who works at the quarry. So you're gonna try to film it. I I wanted to film it, but I forgot my. Just call this motherfucker, and I'll come film the motherfucker. I forgot the uh, tripod. Damn it! I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film it. I'll be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do my best. It might be some shoddy. If you film kill it. one, and we don't shaky get... shit. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you if you smoke one, and we don't get. I'll be film disappointed. It. Yeah, I know. You can I always know. take this tripod. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, maybe I'll just take that one. Yeah. I'll break it. Break it all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Top going you're going yote hunting. I'm going trout fishing tomorrow. I'm gonna try and bag me a couple trout tomorrow. I'm, gonna, I'm going to bed and then going to work tomorrow. <laughs> We're all looking for ways to keep ourselves occupied. Hey, uh, that's the name of the game, baby. Here's a shooter pass for you guys. Catch and release fishing. I already I got a How do you feel about that, Ronski? I um I'm a release guy. That's all like I do it. is catch and release. Yeah. Now it yeah. depends on what kind of if I catch a rockfish a striped bass, I'm keeping it. Yeah, if it's like 40 inches long. The, yeah. They are delicious. Yeah. Now, trout, they are bony motherfuckers. Yeah. They are fun to catch. Yeah. There are ways to cook them where you can fucking yeah. debone them very easily. But trout, to me, is not... It's not worth the keep. No. Remember that it's time not. we went trout fishing and either me or you caught one and there was like... That like we get... It, so, I've been trout fishing happened. my whole life and I've... I've done, I used to do the fucking keep them and give them to my neighbors, and I'd have neighbors and friends that wanted to eat them and all that, and I just, I, I just, I swept that to the side. Yeah. It's, I'm going out, I'm catching them, I don't want to keep them, I'm letting them go. Yeah. So, and the looks you get by these guys on the street, throwing yeah. them back, they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, fuck you, dude, like, <laughs> get a life. Yeah. If, if, like, a trout is, are you going to die if you, get, you, you don't take that fucking trout home? Yeah. Like, fuck off. It's a fucking trout. Yeah. Now, a salmon? Maybe right. I'll keep that. A tuna, I'll keep that. Rockfish, I'll keep that. Oh, definitely. But like, it's a fucking twelve inch, fourteen inch trout, dude. Yeah. There's not. There's let it the fuck go. I don't know. Sometimes I think I could. I, I wish I could shoot a deer, wake it back up, and say. Yeah, but I mean, I think that'd be cool. You look at the look, look at, bigger, but you look at what you're getting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you look at what you you look at what you're getting off of a deer. Well, of course. Yeah. Like, but if you have the option, like, oh, I think I'll take this one, or eh, wake Me, up yeah. onward. It's, I've never even thought about that. That's interesting. Like, if I could have shot catch him, and release. Yeah, like yeah. shot him, took a couple pictures. All right, see you next year. Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are you? What are you? What's your guys' perspective on the shooter pass? For me, man, I dude, if it's fishing. If I can't take that fucking thing home and eat it, I have no interest. Really? Yeah. No really? Yeah. That's, shock, that's a shocking answer out of you. So, like, for, like, trout has no appeal to me because yeah. I, I don't want to catch and release. I, I want to eat it. Even rockfish. Like, right now, you can catch rockfish, but you can't keep them until, mm. like, May 14th. That, now, that I wouldn't do that. I have no They're interest. delicious. But they're delicious. <laughs> yeah. They're I'm going to catch that thing, and I'm going to be looking at it. I'm going to start looking around. <laughs> Like, huh, I don't know. Yeah. I could probably get there. And you get you caught with that motherfucker in your cooler. But, and that yeah. just shows you things hit different for different people. Yeah. That's no. why we're very niche. Like, me getting out on a trout stream when the sun comes up, frost coming out of my mouth, sand in the middle of that stream, no one around, just fucking casting. It's terrible. It's like, man, but, but no one around. Just me on that stream, working that stream is just like mm. zen to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That is just yeah. like, yeah. It's, re- it's it's a release. It's like, no, it's just me and the fucking stream and the fucking fish. There's no... I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying, for me personally, my objective is always meat. You know what I mean? So yeah. if it's blue, if it's a blue cat, a nice big blue cat, like dude, I'm catfish thrilled with that. I, don't like I will catfish. take that thing home like and fry it up. Eating? Absolutely, I'll yeah. tear them up. I love rockfish. I'll, I'll take, I'll take a blue cat. I'll take a snakehead. I'll take all of them. I've heard snake. We need to get. We need to try that. I haven't been fishing in years, dude. A kayak fishing, I'm telling you, it is a blast, dude. You get on, you get on this fucking boat, cooler and beer. It's like it's like you're drifting around in a in a shoe, and you got a cooler <laughs> beer, and dude, I've had fish like damn near pull me in that fucking kayak. It's so much fun. It's cool as hell. Yeah. It's a good time. It reminds me of like run and gun bow hunt, bu- blah, run and gun bow hunting. Like you just set up, you get all your shit, you hop in this thing, and you just fucking paddle out there, and you get one, and then if you get it, you put it on this little chain thing i can't remember what the hell stringer. it's going the stringer, stringer yeah. and uh put that on the side of your kayak and you keep it rolling you know what i mean until you get what you got and then go home and fry them up or, yeah. it, it, dude it's a good time well 
I'm a, I'm, a big, I'm a big trout guy, and trout season's in. So if you guys got any fucking trout picks, send them in. So yeah. I want to check them out. That's something I wanted to start doing a little more often. Is get let's get you know some send of the, them in. some of the listeners in. Let's fucking see, man. You guys got some come, some interesting hunting stories. Send them in. Send them to the Facebook or the Instagram. Yeah. Beers and Deers podcast. And we'll either share them or we'll we'll hook up with you, get your number. You can do a call in, and we'll talk to you guys about yeah. it. Especially yeah. in the off season, you know what I mean. We got some content that, that that's that's great stuff. We want to hear about it. So if you guys got something, what was our last buddy on Instagram? What was his name? Braden. Braden. Yeah. yeah. Braden. Yeah. yeah. We need to get that story about that fucking freak. Dude. Yeah. Well, we yeah. do. Uh, I'd like to do a live thing with him if we could. That'd be cool. Yeah, if we got to do, do the Midwest do... hunt. He's in uh, Kansas. Yeah, He's not far. I thought you yeah, meant like yeah, no, no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like a we'll fly in thing. first class. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not making that kind of chat. No, no, I thought you meant like a no, computer, no, like, no, uh, no, no. It's like Zoom. No, we're not doing Zoom. We'll go. We'll go. We'll be out. We're we're doing that this year. We're going out. I don't mind doing a phone call though, because with the mic set, it does actually sound pretty good. So we could do. We could start doing more of those if you guys got stuff. You're listening. You got an interesting story. Like to broadcast to the. Beers and Deers community, let us know. We'll make it happen. And yeah. we're all about it, man. It's not all about us. We fucking we bring this shit to you. Yeah. You know what it's, I mean? So anytime you can send us pictures and that's shit. That's the difference between a podcast yeah. and like a radio talk show. A podcast is like a community. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we're yeah. th- this is like you guys are sitting here talking with us. You know what I we mean? We could do this without mics and just this is what we normally. This is why yeah, we did exactly. this. This is what we did all the time. Might as well record it. So yeah. we're bringing it to you. Yeah, that's that's what. That's what that's <laughs> so bring why, it back. That's why me and Seth started this. Yeah. Yeah. seven months ago. It's like it's all we talk about. Yeah, yep. let's just fucking record it. Yep. And, and then you joined along, and you've been a a, a a staple of our pod, of the pod. It, it's just, it's something that was just not that out there. You didn't have any. I felt like there was a a void in the podcast yeah. world for like authentic, down to earth, real hunting just conversation like i feel like it's so filtered any, on anywhere else and that's are, that is we're trying yeah, to make that you go to deer go to camp, the wayside you go to deer camp what are you telling your bullshit yeah. stories you're telling them with like fucking beer in your hand yeah you're fucking goddamn right exactly so, so that's beer. that's that's what we're bringing yeah, yeah i tried to try tried to listen to it i tried it again i tried to listen to another hunting podcast this past week yeah i just can't do it yeah, so it, yeah it's it, it goes what i've noticed i've tried to because I'm, tr- we're like I said, we're new to this shit. I'm trying to learn, like, yeah, we all what, what should we're we learn, what should we not be like. But like, it's either an old guy that puts you to fuck to sleep, or yeah. a young guy that puts you to sleep, yeah. yeah, or it's fucking a guy a bozo that has no idea what he's talking about, <laughs> yeah. or there's option three, the guy that doesn't talk about hunting at all, yeah, they just don't have that balance of like real life and just hunt. It's mm-hmm. like it's just it's all over. Yep, it's huh? like what the fuck, what the fuck, dude? what the fuck. Well, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here bringing for. bringing you. The good stuff. Yeah. That's from right. Cecil, motherfucking Tucky, Maryland. And we gotta set a goal. We need to fucking at least 70 YouTube subscribers by fucking. Yeah, May. it's fucking. God, God we'll damn. Get there. We'll get there. We need. No, I want 100. Yeah, really? 100's the goal. <laughs> we'll have 100, 100 subscriber anniversary. 100 by when? We'll get ourselves. June? Yeah. 100 by tax. We'll get ourselves a, a YouTube bronze black. I don't think. Well, I don't see that being a, being an issue. 100 subscribers Let's by do it. tack. Yeah, yeah if anybody, quick, man. anybody is going to oh. attack that's listening, hell yeah, definitely let us know about that. That is coming up quick. That's coming up quick, man. That, and that's another thing we got to do is fucking Two more get out there and more. practice some uh, elevation shots and long range. Yeah, that's not, I need to start working on a lot the elevation. Of uphill, yeah. uh, we need a lot of uphill and stuff. Just at least one day we need to get out there and do a, a practice run. Yeah, I came over what last weekend shot. Yeah, and uh, we stretched it out to 115. Yowza! That's I've a been, shot. I've been pra- I practiced last week and it's I'm mentally fucked up because I'm shooting with this this bow. Yeah. But you know I'm still sending arrows through with these yardages. So when I shoot these yardages with maybe it, you know what I mean. Maybe I'm shooting these yardages with my shit bow. Maybe it'll be fucking. It'll be a, di- a big difference. But just I'm I'm just working on at this point getting comfortable at the yardage. Get, like just being comfortable yeah, with the yardage. Help. It'll help. It'll help. Definitely. Hopefully that boat so I'm not comes gonna, in soon. Yeah. yeah. It should be well, soon. Right? It was February sixteenth. Uh, so maybe five 16th. weeks. Right. She said ten oh, weeks. February. She said Sounds ten weeks. Good. It's been Coming over up. a month. Been, o- close, been yeah. over a month. It should be it's any within any sometime week. in April. Yeah. I'm hoping within the next two weeks. Yeah. You should have it. Well, I hope so. Cool. <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah, You're making me feel any better, man. <laughs> 
And then we can we can do that. We'll take the we'll take the old Glendale buck out yeah. and we'll we'll set that thing up and take it down port. Yeah, I gotta yeah. set I gotta get my spot hog set up. Yeah. And we'll 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 get all that shit. We'll put, we'll post that on the YouTube channel so everybody can get a get a good view of that, how easy it is to set up the spot hog and the C B and because me and John were talking about doing that, setting up a video for the C B and stuff too. Because it is confusing. And we'll have it is a little um, tricky, yeah. And we'll have a uh, Savage Axis 6.5 Creedmoor review coming shortly. I may do that tomorrow. <laughs> that thing's badass. Yeah. Oh, man. That's well, there's a lot of... There's, well, Dude, well, the recoil on that 6.5 is fantastic. So here's the deal. There's a lot of controversy, though. What? There's a lot of controversy over that round, man. A lot. Why? It's it's the three... It's it, it, What it comes down it's to... replacing the what three. It, yep. What, that's, yeah. that's what it boils down to. So your 308 guys are like... Fuck that fucking six five creed more. That thing's a piece of shit. I wouldn't shoot it. I wouldn't. Then you got you yeah. know what I mean. It's like it's like Why? it's like, dude, <laughs> I'm, get online and read. Yeah. Because there are guys like I watch like I'm in like the chats like the, on on the fucking on the couple Message websites. Boards, oh yeah. my lord. Jesus. Yeah. Apparently, it's a heated topic. It's a touchy topic. Apparently, it's the way to go though. I mean, that's, that's me. What I've read. I have both. Yeah. That six five creed more. Is the shit? Yeah. Is that what my dad was talking about? They're phasing out the three hundred eight. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. think they're doing. No, that no, anymore. not anytime soon. But, but um, that six five Creedmoor. <laughs> that think, thing's the shit. I think that's kind of their the idea behind it. And your dad might have been right, but it's gonna be a while before yeah, they do yeah. that. It's not like they're gonna boom just quit. stop making three hundred eight. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, well, by the end, by the end, there, there's the political climate is a whole other thing. They're oh, trying to get rid yeah. of. Anything semi-auto. By the end of this year, Jeremy is going to have a fucking armory in his house. Yeah. Well, I'm working on mine. I'm, I'm building. I'm building stuff every day. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I do my ammo hunts every week. I got. I'm just buying up any two, two, three, and five, five, six I can get. Yeah. yeah I got to work um, on guns. All I got now is just hunting, hunting stuff. Any lowers? Yeah. I bought. I just bought five thirty round clips, AR clips. I'm going to start buying lowers. Yep. Just can, put them now, away. Can you go to Delaware and buy a handgun if you don't have a Maryland HQL? Ah, uh, oh, that's a good question. I, I don't think it. so. I'm, I don't think so. No, no. I don't think so either. I do not. If I, I had to guess, I'd say no. Because yeah. if it was that easy. What you can do is, is you can build your own. <laughs> yeah. You can. Could do that. You can do and this. It's going to cost you about the same. You can get a pretty same. sweet Glock 19. Like say you get one of, one of nine millimeter Glock. You can get a real nice like wolf slide and fucking make it make a sick brand new Glock for about 600 bucks. I would love to have just a handgun. Just well, that's actually defense. 600. That's pro that's under... Yeah, retail. No, no, that's really good. Yeah. Six hundred bucks is solid. I know. I, that's I was, a, that's yeah. in this climate. I'll call it the climate. In this yeah. climate we're in. That's a thousand dollar handgun. Did I, I, I'm. I'll, I'll go ahead and put it out there on the podcast. Fuck it. I'm building one right <laughs> now. That's. Uh, I don't know if I send that to you guys, but that's my. Yeah. yeah. That's my lower. Yeah, I would. I would. I'd feel better with. Uh, if you can see that on the pod. I don't Sam know, but, here alone with a handgun instead of that yeah. shotgun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I got one. My handgun is for home defense. Yeah. That's what it's for. Yeah, I got. My I like I like a shotty for home defense personally because it, it you can put the you know spread shot in there. Well, yeah, it. but I like the handgun. It's a little safer. It, it, I got the handgun. It's it's. But for you, it's, right? You ain't got kids right. in the house or it's, nothing. It's to do easy to fun. grab. It's next to my yeah. bed. It's easy to grab. Yeah. It's in and out. It's quick. It's loaded. Yep. It's ready to go. I just don't want Sam swinging that big fucking twenty eight inch barrel yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'd rather Absolutely. Just be here. Pat, pat, pat. Yeah. The and, best. And she'd be real comfortable with a nine. Yeah. I, dude, you should. I could send you the stuff. And you order it, and we'll build it. All right, send it to me. I'll send you it. it, it you buy it, and it's what's nice about it. You can buy an Eclipse. The lower is like a buck twenty. Then the lower parts kit is like fifty bucks, and then the sights are like thirty bucks, and then the upper parts is like three hundred bucks. Yeah. So this, it to so me. this, this administration's objective: they will not ban the rifle itself, but they will ban what makes the weapon function. Right. So they're going to ban the ammo. They're gonna ban the thirty round clip, the high capacity clips. Yeah. Oh, this is this is you know. You we, may be we, able to have an AR-15, but you're gonna have a ten round clip in it. Who the fuck be, wants an AR-15 with a ten round clip? Yeah, and it's gonna it, anything that you do have. Hopefully, it'll still remain grandfathered in, like stuff around here. It'll be grandfathered in. So, like around here, if you get busted with a thirty round magazine, it's not the end of the world because all you gotta do is say, "I bought that before they pass that law." Exactly. So, and and here's the thing: most local police, they're not enforcing these policies because yeah. they don't agree with them. No. So. so it's kind of, and there's a lot of states that are saying they're not going to enforce them either. They put, they passed policies that say if they try to enforce it, they're going to fucking arrest the federals. For it. They like it's, it's, there's a, yeah, like Tennessee and shit. They, they put a law out just recently that said that they can open carry, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what oh, I mean? What about uh, the article I sent you? Uh, 
Where was it? Was it port? Oh yeah, somewhere yeah. locally around port. Yeah, yeah. Port deposit. Yeah. You can fucking. They're There's gonna a do a, a carry. Open park. carry. You, a car- yeah, open yeah. carry yeah. in parks. Open carry in the parks around. I think that's awesome. You know what? The only we. I don't want to get too political, but the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Crazy is gonna crazy, yeah. no matter Doesn't if it's matter. illegal or legal. Right. They're so, gonna crazy. Yeah. Exactly. But I thought that was cool. That, that was, was like cool. very shocking for Maryland. I was yeah, like, "What yeah. the fuck is well, going on?" Caesar County is pretty. Yeah, pretty but that good was about a, stuff like that. But that was like very rarely do you see steps towards gun rights. Yeah. Right. Back. But right instead yeah. of a step back, I was a step in the right direction. I'm like, "Wow, that's pretty cool." Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty. That was interesting. I, I was like very it. shocked to see that. That was cool, man. But um, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you all that stuff for the pistol, man. Yeah, we'll we'll slap that thing together. Well, I'm gonna have like four or five AR lovers here within the next two weeks. So. <laughs> we can start slapping them together. Yeah, we'll too. start. We'll start pumping them out yeah. too. When you get S- one done, I'll S- buy it. Oh, S and J's Well, yeah, I just I just bought a. I just bought a Colt AR-15 off my dad, five five six. So that'll hold me over. Hell yeah! But um. Yeah, any ammo I can get my hands on, I'm buying it. And any clips I can get my hands on, a Magpul. Right. Shout out Magpul. And you can, you can even, yeah, I got a and Magpul. You, yeah, nine dude, in yeah, my truck right my now. Hot, that high point I have, I got a Magpul. They're, they're great clips. And Did you get the window? The M3 clip? They make an M3 gen with a uh, a window inside of it, on the side of the clip. No, they're mine sick. Don't have a window. They're mine, sick. It's got a little dot they're cheap. that tells you when you get to 10. Magpul, 17 bucks. Yeah. Oh, I know. I've, I've seen them on eBay. That's where yeah. I'm, I'm ordering them, so. I got. I, I, I'm gonna grab a couple more of them, but yeah, seventeen I'm, bucks uh, tonight. I'm hunting with they are, so they are practical. Like uh, uh, killing coyotes, that thing is perfect. That's what yeah, you want. Yeah. Well, that is. You missed the first shot. Yeah, and just, it takes yeah. Over. <laughs> the, <laughs> the AR is scream thug life and empty that clip. <laughs> yeah, so the AR is. It's a multi-use weapon. Yeah, it is. You yeah. can do so much. You can deer hunt with it too. Put a five five six round in there. You can deer hunt with that. And with the with the rails with the rail setup systems on them, you can set it up for whatever you want. Man, you can set that thing up for tack, home defense. Like you can yeah. set that thing up for whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. You could, awesome. set, you could deck that rifle out tactical, and <laughs> fucking have that motherfucker. I got a pretty tact. <laughs> I mean, and then you can set up. You can take the hunting route. Yeah. Or you can blend. You can get in that gray area like you're in. You right. Kind of like blend the two. Kind of in between. Yeah. I could hunt with it, but I can't reach out far because I got a red dot on. Yeah, but I mean, but for like coyotes and yeah. anything, anything in close range, I'm good. But I'm gonna put a, a magnifier on there so I can slap that slap thing up. And it goes. They make two, two, three varmint rounds for a reason. Yeah, you can hunt. There's so guys much hunting. With with these yeah. guys hunting with these things, man. You, you can hunt. You're hunting with it tonight. Yeah, I'm hunting with two, two, three tonight with yeah. the, for a coyote. The the that side of people that sees that gun, they see it as a war machine. Yeah, it's well, yeah. it's all Frank. about it's your it's your. We talked about uh, earlier how you how you put your perspective on things. Yep. It's just how people. It's just the Second Amendment wasn't for hunting. It was no, for it was to protect protect against well, tyranny. And yeah. I look at it, and you look at it from that point. Okay, so you go twenty twenty one. There's never gonna be a world war again. No oh, one's shit. ever gonna invade the United States, dude. Let me yeah, tell you, in twenty years, look, I may not have to fucking use my weapons for any. Oh. Like, who fucking knows? Right. I but feel like it's the principle of the thing, and that's like they said in World War Two. A, a Japanese general said th- that was their reasoning for not invading America was because behind every blade of gla- grass there's a rifle. Well, <laughs> when and Adolf, that's, that's well, it's the truth. Yeah. When Adolf Hitler fucking ruled Germany, you know what he did? He took the gun. He de armed his citizens. I I'm more scared of my own government than I am foreign countries. Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. And that's that's fucking terrifying. Yeah, it's just but like I said, if you everyone <laughs> buy up your fucking. Your high capacity mags, your ammo, and your fucking yeah. flowers. Just make, make sure you leave some for me. I would look; <laughs> they will be gone in this term. And I would look; I would be so bold to say we kind of touched, snapped about it a little bit back and forth. I would look for a high capacity mag and ammo. Either they're either going to tax it to where it's ridiculous for you to yeah. buy the ammo, but yeah. the, the mags are gone. What do you guys think about uh, reloading? I think that's a great. Idea. Uh, it's phenomenal. Yeah, and yeah. not only is it phenomenal. If I had a if I had a garage or a basement, I'd probably, not only I'd probably is, already be doing. Not it. only is it phenomenal, the gun manufacturers or ammo manufacturers, I'm sorry, are starting to advertise on the boxes casing can be reloaded. There yeah. you go. And I have never, I you rarely see that. I bought uh, five boxes of Federal, uh, was it 55 grain, 55 grain, yeah. and on the box it says shells can be uh, recased. I can't remember the exact terminology they use, but yeah, you can you can you can fucking you can. Stamp them out, man. Yeah. So the ammo factors, they're like, hey. They're hip when, to it. And, when, and, when you're done yeah. shooting this motherfucker, and they're, you can they're, reuse they're, it. They're yeah. selling so much. It's like, they're almost like, please reload. Yeah. You can't yeah. keep up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people are, it flies off the shelves, man. It's but that's, I, I thought that was cool. That was kind of cool to see. Even they're like, hey, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> you can pop yeah. this motherfucker off the there range. A, you tuck it in your pocket. Just recently in Elkton, who got somebody broke into his garage. He had like ten thousand dollars worth of ammo in there, and they yeah. stole it yeah. all. So, oh my so God. five years ago, well, we'll say three years ago, no one <laughs> they were sweeping casings into fucking garbage bins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now it's like taking them to the scrapyard. Pick that motherfucker up mm-hmm. and keep it. Yeah. You see guys going around the range picking them up. I mean, it's yeah, they're definitely they're coming for your guns. That's why it's super important to, they're to not. join the NRA, uh, uh, HunterNation.org, all that all that shit. Yeah. That, that like I said, they're not going to go for the weapon itself. They're going to go for what makes that weapon function. Well, all right. well, then you might as well just take it away from you. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much what it is. They're being tactical about it. Is what they're doing. So they're trying to if trying you to be slick. If you have an AR, or you don't. Come, come and take it, motherfucker. Yeah, but the flag up right now. We got, it, so. I, we got what we got. Yeah, is what I'm getting at. But they're mm. gonna make it tricky for you. You're gonna feel guilty going to that yeah. shooting range. That's why everybody's buying stuff now, though, because everybody knows that. Everybody's aware of what's going on, man. That's why everybody's buying all this stuff right now. That's why it's so hard to find. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, scary. It is. It's scary, but um, and like I said, me, I work a continuous schedule, so during the week, I'm off during the week a lot. So me, I'm at Cabela's. And I'm fucking, I'm buying up what I can buy. And let me tell you, I ain't by myself. No, absolutely not. <laughs> there are, I'm talking. Out the door, man. I'm talking. Every day I go, there's 100 people in line with me. Jesus Christ. That's, That's insane. insane. If, on the weekends, 300. Wow. 300 people. I don't even go on the weekends. Yeah. During the week, I'll go. I'll be the 20th, whatever. I'll go get there 30 minutes before they open. I'll go in. That's insane. I get what I get. I roll out. Like today, I got five boxes of two, two, three. Yeah. I'm gonna. We got it. We got a nice little trade. We got barter a trade. System. We got a barter, barter worked out. So, <laughs> but um, yeah. So, but it's like we've come to that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. unreal. We got another thing coming up here soon too. A little, uh, little gobble gobble. Coming yeah, up we got some turkey coming. Yeah. We got less than three weeks for that. I'm gonna go at work. I'm trying to stick it on the Boski. I might, I might take off opening day. It's a Monday. It's so fucked up. Where are you it's going? Stupid. It's Where are we stupid. gonna go? I'm gonna go to my work. Well, well, that doesn't help me much. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, doesn't help anybody but me. I got, so, I got something lined up. Got something up lined for up. You. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk. Because I kind of, I dove into turkey hunting what two years ago, mm-hmm. and I kind of dove in. Yeah. So I like to think that I'm pretty knowledgeable in the turkey game. Um. Yeah, I did a lot of research on turkey hunting, so I'm I'm ready to fucking bag we'll a gobbler we'll this year, baby. Happen. We'll make it happen. I, I got all the shit. Are you? Do you work Mondays typically? Dude, if you want to go turkey hunting, the vacation day is going in. Okay. I love yeah. turkey hunting. Like I love that. Well, I think I'm gonna take off opening day. I got a limited amount of time. I'll take off too. Time. I'll I'm take right. off as well. I got a limited amount. I got time, time to burn, baby. Yeah, I got. I got. Depends on how much hunting I'm gonna do in the fall, but I, I can take, take at least a, a week. I can spare a day. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm taking yeah. more like two. <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna uh, I can I can I can spend the day. We'll talk after this for turkey. But you, you gotta get on the roost. Yeah. Oh, I, I, that's what I was thinking. We could we'll go out Sunday night try to find a roost. Get, get roost. you an alcohol. Yeah. yeah. We we'll go out there just make some ruckus. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Go out early. <laughs> go out early morning. And as the sun's Is that going, fucking out, guy? Go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go out. We'll go out early morning, and we'll do our scout, and then we'll go out evening yeah. when the sun's going down. Yeah. Yeah, but we get you can only hunt in the morning. No, I'm talking scout. Yeah, for oh, scout. yeah. scouting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you can go you, out there all the time. So there's scouting. one or two things that we're either going to yeah. see him fly down. Yep. If we don't see him fly, if we see him fly down, we're good. Yeah. But if we don't see him fly down, then we'll go in the evening and see if we can get him flying up right before the yeah. sun goes down. Yeah. yeah. Because I'll tell you, and these motherfuckers are clockwork. Or even while they're in their roost, like yeah, they'll, they'll, it's dark, then we just find out where they're roosting and go right back the next morning. Well, what they'll do? Fly. Yeah, exactly. When they fly up to the roost, when they're in their roost, it, it depends on the timing. So if they go right up into the roost, and you could probably get one to gobble up in the roost probably an hour after sun's down. Right. And vice versa. But you got to get on the roost. Yeah. Or in the general location of the roost, because if you're not, you're, you're thumbs up your ass. You're, yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's not deer hunting. It's, they don't follow a pattern. It's not. No. It's, no. The you, size of their brains is like, yes. it's like a marble. You I mean, can, yeah. they are not smart. I animals. have all the decoys. There's I, no rhyme or reason to them half the time. Are you, just, I have all the decoys. I've, oh, you got decoys? Yep, got everything. Oh, nice. On top of my hutch in my living room. Hell yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen decoys. those. Yeah. I've seen those. I got everything. i got to get a time. You need to buy nothing. i got a scratch box. i got everything. Sweet. I got some I got some diaphragm calls, but that's it. I got shells. <laughs> are you shotgun? What are you doing? Shotgun, yeah. Alright, so yeah. we're shotgun. I got yeah. shells. I'm gonna have to buy shells. I get I get one with the shotgun, then I'll, I think I'm gonna switch yeah. to the bow. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go so, right to a bow. 
Yeah, so we have no, um, you don't have to buy anything. I have everything. Yeah. But I know where them cops are. I got are shells. Roosting. Right. Yeah, I know I know where the summer roosting. I, I got turkey roosting. shot. I got I everything. I know where the bitches are roosting right at work. Do you? Right above the employee building. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah blow a couple holes in the Oh, you know what? I building. think I remember seeing them there years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, not like right above, kind of like above that like CR6 pile. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Where you, you always see the deer see up, up there. See them up on there, yeah. Yep. Yep. I've seen turkey up there. Yeah, right there. Yep. That's where they roost. Mm. Bitches. All right, I have to get ready and go kill a coyote. Yeah, it's getting that yeah. time. Let's so, get it, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Beers and Deers crew tuning out. That's we'll right. see you next week. We're going to slay some coyotes. We're going to slay some birds. We're going to catch some trout. And I, I'm, I'm hoping I can. Dude, we got crabbing coming up, too. It's, it's, Maryland is just the outdoorsman's paradise. The Mecca. We can get into that one of these pods, too. I'm a hell of, I love crabbing. I crab a lot during the summers, but. I gave my dad his boat back, so. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to let us use it. <laughs> and I, my, my Uncle Leroy, uh, shout out Uncle Lee, if you're listening. I doubt he does. but uh, You better. He's got, he won the lottery. <laughs> so, Hell yeah. Right. He won like 20 grand on a scratch off. Cool. Yeah. He bought a sweet ass boat. He's like, anytime you want to use it, take her out. I was like, <laughs> cool. all right. Yeah. So we got that too. We might, we might have to take him up on that. But we will see y'all next week. Wish me luck. I'm going to get out there and try to shoot some coyotes. If you're listening, please give us a subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Shout out. Tell us some stories. We want to hear them. Send pics. Bring them. Let's hear it. We don't want to see pictures of your dicks. No. Pictures of your fucking... No more of those. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. Do not send this. Maybe your old lady. (laughs) Hey. All right. Tune it out. We'll see you all next week. All right.